Hey, collective. We're going to do a quick energy check, see what your spirit guide, your ancestors want you to know what's going on behind the scenes. I've already meditated, sage, called in the appropriate protection. When it comes to tarot, it's not about gender. It's about energy. A masculine can embody the feminine side. A feminine can embody the masculine side, depending on where you're at in the timeline. This can be past energy, current energy, near future energy. Take what resonates, leave the rest for the next person. I pick up on different energies every day, okay, in every reading. Okay, just take what resonates and leave the rest for the next one. Heaven sent. Ancestors of the highest white light, only of the highest white light. I ask that you help me provide clear messages for the collective. What's going on behind the scenes? What is it that they need to know? Show us the cards we need to see. Show us the cards we need to see. Please and thank you. Just do it. Growth through adversity. Okay, somebody's been through some shit. Therapy. Okay. Law of attraction. What you put out is what you get back. Gossiping. Listening to rumors. God sees and hears all. Somebody wants somebody to believe them. They want to chill with them. Answers are coming. Your divine private property. A lot of you guys are freeing others from bondage. So, so far we have law of attraction. What you put out is what you get back. Gossiping, listening to rumors, therapy, God sees and hears everything. Answers are coming. Grow through adversity. Just do it. You are divine private property. Oops. Snap. This was meant for you. Seeing more healing. Some of you guys could be a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe you don't know what you mean to me, to me, to you. I feel a chemistry, no one, no one. Freedom to choose your direction, okay. What it sounds like to me here, somebody has went through some bullshit. They're growing through what whatever this bullshit is. They must have went through some bullshit, bullshit. Because adversity, shit. Spivet's telling this person, just do it. Just do it. You have the freedom to choose your own direction. Your divine private property. Answers are coming. This was meant for you. Spivet says, sing more. Because singing helps heal. You're freeing others out of bondage. And then over here, law of attraction, what you put out is what you get out, what you get back. You got somebody who's gossiping, high priestess. We got high priestess on the board. Spirit saying, start living, standing your power. Clear the clutter from people, places, and I know it. Cut the air supply. Release envious, jealous, um, comparing people from your energy. Okay. Somebody stepping in their power and spirits telling them just do it. They're, they're choosing their own direction. They're realizing they have the freedom to choose their own direction. They're listening to spirit. 
they're moving forward. This person is cutting the air supply and the clutter from people, places, and things. People who are envious, jealous, and comparing. Now, on this end, there's somebody watching this person. Whoever they're walking away from, they're gossiping, listening to rumors. God sees and hears everything. What you put out is what you get back. Remember who you are, Divine Masculine. Asses are coming. Universe, the Wheel of Fortune, Universal Law, call back your power. Somebody's walking away from something. It's been written in the stars for you. There's been a transformation here for a divine masculine. Take it where it resonates, guys. You know, female bodies, the masculine side as well. There's no going back. You're too authentic and abundant to be getting played. They're leaving the bullshit behind and walking into their happiness. I can never make this up. And they have somebody who's freaking pissed. They're gossiping, talking shit. God sees and hears all. God sees and hears all. You see that owl? Mm -hmm. Now, this could also mean the ending of something to the beginning of something new. Okay? It doesn't have to mean the sign. You guys know how I roll on this channel. <laughs> This person is walking away into their happiness. There's no going back. They're leaving the bullshit behind and walking towards their happiness. Mm-hmm. Spirit said, remember who you are. The answers are coming soon. Somebody was miserable where they were at. Growth through adversity. This person went through some shit. Show us the cards we need to see, Spirit. Please and thank you. This person wants to start living. Yeah. They're releasing those burdens. They no longer want this. Whatever this person is that gossips, rumors, all this kind of air supply, they're walking, they're leaving it. They want to go towards victory and success. They want to start living. They're, they're divinely protected, this person. They're walking away in peace. They don't want no problems. Spirit is protecting this person from this devil shit. This devil shit. Spirit is protecting them. The moment you start to choose better for yourself, spirit comes in and protects. Oh, they got their eye on somebody else. They're walking away to the person that they have their eye on. Could we do the unthinkable? Somebody that they block their feelings from. I'm ready. If you ask me, I'm ready. If you ask me, I'm ready. They want to heal. They're wondering if you're single. They're miserable. If we're going to do something about it, we should do it right now. Oh, shit. They're taking action. You gave me a feeling that I never... Oh, my ears are ringing. This is impossible for them to ignore. They can't hold it out. They can't hold it back. They've been enlightened as to who you are. I was wondering, maybe. Just do it, Spirit said. Just do it. They want to reconcile. They want to come back. 
You're so beautiful. They've been stuck in their head thinking of you. They're ready. It was written in the stars. Universal law, the will of fortune. They're calling back their power. They're realizing this relationship was meant to be, was meant for them. And this relationship is divinely protected. They gain the enlightenment. If I make you my baby, if we do the unthinkable, would it make us look crazy? This person, they want to start living. They want to be victor victorious at getting you back. They're remembering who they are. They're ready. They're ready for this commitment. Hi, Archangel Michael. They're ready to take action and come back in. They're calling their power back from whatever this devil toxic shit was. They're wondering if you're single. They look at you as a gift from a heaven sent. What was that first card that we seen? This devil shit had them stuck in their head. Oh, shit. There's always that one person that will always have your heart. They're clearing the clutter. They were blinded from the start. They're releasing the envious, jealous people. And is jealous. Spirit's blocking them. Spirit's cutting the air supply from these people. There's no going back. They're leaving that bullshit behind. Screaming your name. What else, Pivot? They don't want nobody else taking over this situation. Empress. Yeah, I used to argue all the time. This person's in regret. You haven't seen this person in a while. Yeah, they're watching you. That evil, jealous person is watching you. Yeah, spirit is blocking this person. The emperor is blocking this evil, jealous person. There's no going back. Because this is what they see. They only see you. They look at you as sexy, confident, beautiful. You, you feel this person's soul on a different level. They want to reconcile. I was there, you were my baby. They cut the air supply from that devil. Maybe some of you guys got into another connection and they see it. Another bud is taking over. Oh, they don't want to fight. You guys haven't seen this person in a while. This person wants to come in and exchange gifts. They want an equal give and take. They regret. They're leaving the bullshit behind. This person's in their head. They regret. You will always be my, my oh, my oh, my oh, my boo. They want to balance this. Yeah, because they were not equally giving into this. They invested in the fucking karmic. They invested in the devil. And they got one little pentacle. That's probably a couple of patches of hair left. 
and they blocked you. You were blind. They were blind to this situation before. They're not blind no more. They see it. They see they invested in the wrong person. And all they got them was the Ten of Wands sitting there miserable. Trapped in their head. Dealing with jealous, envious people. They're clearing the clutter though. That karmic is gossiping. God sees, hears all. This person cheated on you. Yeah. It came in the reverse. Yeah, this person ended that situation. They regret ending this connection with you, this love connection with you. They regret ending this love connection with you, but they put an ending to that situation. Yeah. Again, Queen of Wands. This person is no longer a scared. They're no longer scared. They're no longer scared of bringing this offer into you. They're no, you could really be dealing with a Scorpio. There was a tower. There's been a rebirth for this person. I ever said that's the truth. Envious, jealous people. They're walking away from them. They're getting in their strength because they're coming into balance. This. That person's watching you guys. They're trying to keep you protected. They choose to keep you protected. Power. Nobody was supposed to know about you guys. You guys were creeping. She didn't know what he was doing. But this person had high attraction. They were in their head. They fell in love with the third party. This is what they want with the third party. They met their match. This person fell in love. Okay, so this person was in a relationship when you guys met them, okay? They met you. This person must have been going through a breakup. I don't know how the situation goes. Everybody's story is different. When they met you, it was supposed to just be a creep. And they ended up falling in love with you. They ended up falling in love with you. The Queen of Wands came out twice. High, highly attractive. Look. They see victory and success with you. Twice they came out in two different decks. But they blocked their feelings for you. This person has never been able to stop thinking of you. This is what they see with you. This emperor. They, it was not supposed to be like that. They ended up finding their, their divine counterpart. It was supposed to just be a creep, but they actually fell in love. Because this is you guys. This is you guys. This is you guys, collective. Take it where it resonates. You're balanced, you're loving, you're caring, you're confident. You're in your... When they met you, you probably was just a, a queen of wands. Sexy, confident, beautiful, go-getter. And then whatever happened, they've been watching you. You turned into the empress. But this was the person that they were dealing with. 
That was the person they were dealing with. That's why Spivis said you're freeing people out of bondage. You guys tapping, going into your Empress energy is helping this. Yeah, this King of Wands became the Emperor. And you, Queen of Wands, became the Empress. We have a divine counterpart here. The Lovers and the Two of Cups. This person has been enlightened to who you are to them. They see victory and success only with you. They're realizing you were the gift the whole time. It was you. It was you. They chose the wrong one. This person is about to take action. See, even, even though this person was with that other, with the person that they were with, they were emotion, they were physically there, but their heart was emotionally with you. They couldn't get you out of their head. Spirit said, just do it. Cut the air supply from this toxic situation. Because this is your divine counterpart. This is your twin. I can never make this up. Queen and King of Cups. King and Queen of um, Wands. Emperor and Empress. We have the Lovers, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Wands. You're very nurturing. So it's telling this person, trust that you're on the right path. Move forward, just do it. This person is watching. This, this emperor is, is liberating themselves. They had to be humble. Spirit had to sit this person down. Be humble. Sit your fucking ass down. Because this is the energy you attracted. It's been illuminated. They see happiness with you, collective. Yeah, hidden. They kept... Their love for you hidden. Spirit said that's the truth. You were the gift the whole time. What did I say? This person never stopped thinking of you. They never stopped watching you. They want your forgiveness for dealing with this toxic devil shit, putting you in wrong. This person had to go through some shit. Growth through adversity, devil, devil, five of swords, five of swords, tower, tower. Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, Miserable, Death, they were carrying that this whole time, look at that, that black hole, that's, that's what that is. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eye off of you. Heaven to touch. I want to hold you. What did I say? The first card I seen was heaven sent. They've been watching you. They never. I was looking at this card so deep right now because spirit showed me this bridge. If this person would have just crossed this bridge, they could have gotten to you. 
They've been watching you from a far distance. This person's finally walking away. They can't take their eyes off of you. They're about to take that leap of faith. I need you, baby. Big happy changes. Lonely nights. Spirit says this is the truth. This person is coming. Pretty baby. There's no need to worry. This person is coming in and taking action. Because they're listening to their spirit guides. They asked and the answers are coming. Answers are coming. Ask your angels. Abundance within the next few months or weeks, Spirit said. Archangel Mike is helping this person. That devil came out twice. This person decided to take their freedom to choose, and they decided to walk away and evolve. And get away from this toxic shit. Because this person has unconditional love for you, collective. Their desire and passion for you. You fueled this person's soul on a deep level. Somebody from there, from there that passed on. Somebody from heaven is helping guide this person. Transformation. This person is coming in to balance, balance this out. Stay humble. Spirit had to teach this person how to stay the fuck humble. They're clearing their vibes right now. They love you. Divinely protected. This person is being divinely protected right now. Clearing their energy field. Spiritual abundance. Written in the stars for them. They're realizing... You guys were, were destined to be together. They're, they're, this person is definitely protected. Spirit had to teach this person how to be humble. Count your fucking blessings. When we gift you something, you don't just slap us in the face. You don't just sit here and dismiss what we're bringing into you and continue dealing with the fucking devil. You don't continue doing that. You don't do that. You don't do that. This is what you get. Ignoring us. Ignoring our signs. It's amazing how you knock me off my feet. Spirit said you don't keep doing that. Because this is where you end up at. Count your blessings. As above, so below. What you're putting out is what we're going to bring back to you. So this person had to... I don't know. The story is different for everybody. Some of you guys, this person was already with this person. They must have been through a break or something. I don't know. You guys, everybody has a different story. They're listening to their spirit guides now though. They're following their spirit guides. They don't want to make you cry. They only want to... They always want to make you smile. Some of you guys identify yourselves with being an earth angel. Helping free people out of bondage. That's what I got for you, collective. Love and light.